Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Emil Ennis Jr. back here with Clever News, and I just want to give a little PSA. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all, because in 2020, you never know who's listening, watching, or when Zoom's gonna malfunction. Okay, so let's rewind to 2019, when HBO's Euphoria hit the airwaves and took TV by storm. Now, if you're not familiar with Euphoria, you better get familiar, because come December, a few bridge episodes will be dropping to tease what's to come in season two. Your main characters in the show are Rue, played by Zendaya, Nate, played by Jacob Elordi, Jules, played by Hunter Schaefer, and quite frankly, a ton more because everyone is a vital character to the show. But let's focus on Lucas Gage, who played Tyler Clarkson. So Tyler appeared early on in the season and falls victim to Nate's angry and hasty ways. While Nate and his girlfriend Maddie were on one of their mini breaks, Maddie wants to make Nate jealous by hooking up with a guy, Tyler Clarkson, in the pool in front of everyone at a party. Now clearly this didn't sit well with Nate and a few days later, Nate and Maddie get back together. She claims Tyler forcefully had non-consensual sex with her and in turn, Nate seeks revenge on Tyler. On a stormy night, Tyler comes back to his apartment to be greeted by Nate who has kitchen knives a baseball bat, and a golf club in hand. Who the f*** are you, man? I'm the boyfriend of the girl that you raped on Saturday night? No, no, dude, what the f***? I wouldn't rape anyone. I swear to God, I didn't rape a girl, dude. Yeah, you can tell it's not going to go well from there. Okay, so now that we're all caught up and you're familiar with who Lucas Gage is, well, over the weekend, he became a hot topic because he put a director on blast for trash-talking him during a Zoom audition. Lucas uploaded a video to Twitter on Friday. The tweet accompanying the video reads, PSA, if you are a talking director, make sure to mute your on Zoom meeting. And now I present to you the cringeworthy and extremely incriminating evidence to go along with it. These poor people live in these tiny apartments. Like I'm looking at his, you know, background, and he's got his TV and and you know. Yeah, mute it. I know it's the apartment. That's why give me this job so I can get a better one. Clearly, the director thought his Zoom mic was on mute and that Lucas couldn't hear him, but it was quite the opposite. Remember, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. And while this was hard to watch, the video doesn't stop there. The director tries to ease the situation, but in turn digs himself deeper and deeper into the ground. Um, <laughs> ready? Oh my God, I'm so, so sorry. No, it's Lucas. totally... Li Listen, I'm living, I'm, in a, so I'm living in a four by four box. It's fine. Just give me the job and we'll be no, fine. I I'm more <laughs> While Lucas was very polite and kind to the director on video, he took it to Twitter, like I mentioned before, and put him on full blast. The video gained such viral attention that celebrities from all over came to his defense, and a game of guess the director started on social media. Lucas commented on a repost of the video by Instagram account comments by celebs. He wrote 100,000 likes for the name, to which January Jones replied, I have a guess. Many of Lucas's Euphoria co-stars chimed in on the repost. Sydney Sweeney commented, I can't even. Barbie Ferreira wrote, you posted it. <laughs> Maud Apatow chimed in saying, Lucas, I can't. And Maud's famous parents even weighed in. Her father, famous director and producer Judd Apatow, reposted the video on Twitter with the tweet, as a young man, I would have dreamed of an apartment like this one. Look at that sweet flat screen, the guitar, the molding. Her mom, Leslie Mann, commented on the IG post writing, ah ha 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 ha. But other celebs like Patrick Schwarzenegger commented, I don't know how you reacted so well. And clearly there are some more comments on the IG post where that came from, but I do want to highlight some more big A-listers in the game who showed their support on Twitter. Billy Eichner reacted with these words, actors are often, not always, but often treated like garbage and taken advantage of because, quote, we're just lucky to have a job and we're gonna take the job anyway, et cetera, et cetera. It's very up. Family Guy creator Seth MacFarlane made a parody video of the whole thing and tweeted, Apologies to Lucas Gage. The late Robin Williams' daughter, Zelda Williams, showed her support for Lucas and even vouched for his onset behavior writing. Since Lucas is going viral on film Twitter for being the graceful, quick thinking sweetheart he is, I'd like to add for any non asshole directors looking that he's also a delight to work with, funny, talented, and a blast on set. Hire this man. So clearly there is no shortage of support for Lucas, and maybe, just maybe, that director will be run out of Hollywood, or at the very least, think before he speaks on Zoom. Funny enough, TMZ reports that this is not actually Lucas's apartment. In fact, it's a hotel room in Hawaii where Lucas is currently working on a different project. Ugh, the irony of it all. I can't stress this message enough. If you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. <sighs> that was some hot tea, I'm sweating. But for even more Euphoria news, click right over here for another Clever News video. 
video and then let us know your reaction to his video and what you would have done if that happened to you down in the comment section below. I'm your host, Emil Ennis Jr. You can find me on Instagram at Emil Ennis Jr. And I'll see you soon right back here on Clever News. Bye, guys.